Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we have a new pick a card reading but before we dive into it I wanted to give a huge shout out to Keen who are kindly sponsoring today's video. If you have not heard of Keen before they're essentially a huge online platform full of psychics and spiritual advisors that are there to answer your life's questions. And a couple of the things that I really love about Keen is the fact that they are online so no matter where you live in the world no matter what time it is you can log on and browse through available psychics that range from different prices and you also get to choose the amount of time that you want to spend with your psychic. My personal experience with Keen has been great so far. I've had a few different psychics predict some really accurate things for me, ranging from my career and my love life, but I highly recommend trying out a few different psychics before choosing the ones that you want to spend your most time with because each psychic reads a little bit differently and some will go into a lot of detail and some will resonate with you and some won't. So it really just depends and I highly recommend trying out a few different ones before choosing the one that you spend your most time with. And if you are interested in giving Keen a try, you can actually get your first five minutes for only a dollar by heading to trykeen.com slash gem. And again, that link is trykeen.com slash gem to get your first five minutes for only a dollar. And thank you so much to Keen for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right back into today's pick a card reading. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we have a new pick a card reading all about your month of March of 2024. So if you are curious what your month of March has in store for you, we have our tarot cards out and we're going to be calling on spirit and the universe to bring information for your highest good at this time to let you know what you can expect coming for you in your month of March. If you're new to these videos, I'm going to give you a quick little explanation about how it works. So I have five different groups in front of me. Over here we have group number one with which has a piece of quartz on the top of it. Group number two, we have this peacock ore. Group number three, we have this super seven crystal, which is basically amethyst, but with a bunch of other different minerals and all of that. Group number four, we have this beautiful piece of copper. And then group number five, we have this pink girasol. So depending on which pile you're the most drawn towards, that's your intuition speaking to you because your intuition knows which group is going to be the most accurate and relevant for you. And then once you're done choosing, there's going to be timestamps linked down below in the comment box, as well as the description box so that you can skip right ahead to your personal prediction for the month of March. We're going to be diving into as much detail as possible for you. And I cannot wait to get into it. And I just want to let you know that you can take your time. You can pause the video if you would like in order to find the pile that you're the most drawn towards. And if you want to see a close up of each of the crystals, we will go into that. So group number one, we have this beautiful piece of natural quartz. So again, if you're drawn to this crystal and this pile, that's going to be your group. Group number two, we have this beautiful peacock ore. If you are drawn to this one, that is going to be your group for March. Then group three, here's our super seven crystal. If you're drawn to that one, that is your March prediction. And then group number four, this copper piece. And then group number five, ah, I can't even get that stick back on there. Okay. Group number five, we have this pink girasol. So depending on which group you're the most drawn towards, again, your intuition is going to call you towards one of these piles, and that's going to be the most relevant pile for you that has all the details about your month of March within it. And all the timestamps are linked down below so that you can skip right ahead to your personal prediction. I'm so excited to dive into this reading with you. Hopefully you are too, and I'll see you in your reading. All right, my group number ones, if you chose this pile, this is going to be your reading for the month of March. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, my group ones, we have Earth, Death of a Star, and Explore as your first three cards here. So with the Earth card coming up first, this indicates that your month of March is focused on like grounding, getting re-grounded, regrouping yourself, probably focused on more of the material things in your life, like getting your finances in order or even reorganizing your space or doing things that are more on an earthly plane. I do feel like you're wanting to kind of like ground yourself, feel more centered, more secure. That's the earth kind of energy and what it brings. The death of a star is super significant. 
This one indicates that you are closing out a major chapter of your life or possibly you've just closed out a chapter. The death of a star is like something in our life is maybe ending, but this is a promise of a new beginning. So perhaps this is the ending of a certain chapter of your life, such as graduating and then you know moving forward here, or the ending of a relationship, the ending of a career, or something like this, because it seems like there is more that you want to explore. There's more possibilities opening up for you. The explore card can indicate that we are in an imaginative space where we're like, ooh, since this just ended, now I get to go and broaden my horizons to something new. Now I get to open up, I get to explore more of who I am. But there is something within you that you're like, I no longer want to keep doing that or I no longer want to keep playing into that pattern or that cycle or that phase or that chapter. It's like you're no longer wanting to stay there and it is an ending but this new beginning is really gonna open up so many horizons for you. The fact that we have this explore card, it seems like you're moving past whatever this is pretty easily, um, I'll say, and you're able to just like open up all of these new realms. Like I feel like this is a very positive ending that's happening for you and you're feeling the excitement of what it's gonna open up for you. I also do feel like you're gonna be looking for more ways to feel more secure, to feel more grounded. Like perhaps this um, ending is causing some maybe um, just fears of like instability or wanting to just get grounded again in some way. So it's like you're exploring options and you're opening up like brand new horizons in your life, which is amazing. So let's dive into some more cards. We also have King of Swords coming through. This can indicate a person in your life. It can also indicate yourself or the situations that you're gonna be facing. If it is a person, this is most likely an air sign man, most likely. It can also be a woman who ends up being more masculine, is very much in her more assertive, kind of masculine stage of life, but it is most likely an air sign person, which would be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And since we have this one upright, there is a lot of ideas coming through of maybe what we can explore or how we can expand. And this person seems like a great support system with helping you open up this new chapter. This could also be yourself feeling a lot more refreshed mentally and a lot more ready mentally. This is like when we get to a space within our own mind where we're like, I got this. I'm feeling like a leader right now. My mind is going towards best case scenario and I feel like I am seeing my strength, my power. I'm seeing all the different opportunities and options in front of me and I'm so ready to cut out anything that no longer resonates me with me and I'm also so ready to make plans. Like the King of Swords, he is the plan maker and he really helps us see all the different possibilities and take leadership of our present position. And he's also very compassionate with um, how he speaks and how he leads and the plans that he's making in his life. So this could be representing your energy, which I do feel like it's slightly representing your energy on top of the fact that it also might be representing a particular person in your life that maybe you are exploring new ideas with. They're probably here to help support you on this new path, on this new journey. This could also be somebody who is um, like offering you like opportunities or other ideas or helping you plan for something. We also have the justice card. So this one shows up when we are so ready to like lay down new boundaries and we are ready to kind of just take charge. I see you so deeply stepping up into a leadership position and I see you being so proud of this new chapter that you're gonna be building and opening. You're also wanting to balance out things in your life. There is certain things where I think in the previous past couple years or so, you've probably felt a little bit imbalanced when it came to your wants and needs in your life. And this new chapter, I feel like you're very focused on laying down certain boundaries. Like I never wanna find myself in blank position again. I never want to go down blank road again. Like you're so ready to lay down the law of this new um, chapter of your life. And it's so interesting that we have two swords that are face down right in front of them. I feel like this is you so ready to put up boundaries and so ready to put in the work to do what it takes to cut out anything that is not in alignment with you. And I feel like this, this ending, it's almost, I feel like it's being 
initiated by you. Like, I don't feel like this is an unexpected ending for you. I feel like this is more of like an expected, initiated um, ending that you are just ready for. You are ready to close out this chapter and you are so ready to open up this new book, this new phase, this new chapter. And yeah, I think your communication is also getting a lot better as well being able to speak exactly what you mean, exactly what you need and desire and want. And um, yeah, I think that's gonna open up a lot new, a lot of new opportunities for you. We also have the Hierophant card coming up. This is when we are possibly even having somebody in our life that we look up to that can help teach us or guide us in some way. And he also comes in when we are learning something new. So perhaps you might be interested in taking a course, which can also be connected to the King of Swords, by the way. Uh, both of these can talk about learning, studying something new, um, gaining a new skill, and you might be drawn towards doing something online, like taking an online class is something that I'm possibly feeling in here. Since we have the King of Swords, this is when things are usually online um, or we're able to kind of live more freely in some way, like have control of our schedule, but also at the same time, it's like you're learning new things. This could also possibly be reading books, like doing studying on your own in order to learn something that might help you explore new interests or what you're about to build in this new chapter. It's like all this planning stage. And this can also indicate the media or doing stuff online. Maybe some of you are like, I really wanna build up my um, career to be more online or maybe you're wanting to make money online or something like this because King of Swords can talk about that and Hierophant can indicate that we are maybe learning how to do that or building that or we have somebody who's helping guide us or teach us in that realm so if that is relevant that'll be for you um, again it is a general reading so sometimes I point out like all the different things that I'm seeing which can be a lot so you'll kind of have to piece together exactly what is the most relevant for you here but we also have ten of pentacles being reversed this can appear when ooh, I'm feeling like for a lot of you there's an ending of like a possible career or something that you were going to school for but maybe you're like switching it um, but I feel like this is a switch that either has to do with your home life, your material life, the way you make money, your career, um, or different things connected to that. It can also indicate that you're moving out um, of your home, like such as, like if you still live with your family or something, it can indicate moving out in that sort of way. Something along the lines of that though, it's like a very physical thing that's changing for you. And it might bring up a little bit of like, woo, like what's gonna happen? It's like I, I'm giving up my solid steady foundation and I'm kind of going on a whim here to change things around. And there might be a little bit of like nerves that come along with that. But something that I'm seeing is that there's a lot of confidence here. And if you stick towards planning out the details and being the leader and creating boundaries, sorry, my fiance is sneezing so much downstairs. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, that's so funny. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is like, we are so ready to lay down our boundaries of no longer wanting to go back in the past, no longer wanting to settle for less than what it is that we actually truly desire. And so it's almost like you're taking a bit of a risk here in order to bring about more happiness and more surety in your life. And you do have this like leadership energy, but there could be a little bit of, oh yeah, and then look, we also have nine of pentacles being reversed. So nine, of ten, nine and 10 of pentacles are both dealing with our material world, our money and our career, and a bit of our independence. And so there might be a little bit of like, ah, like what am I doing here? Is this the right decision? And something that I can definitely tell you is that considering you seem to be so much more happier learning these new things and opening this new chapter. And it's also opening up tons of new opportunities for you, like this unlimited potential where you could take your life in any direction and build any new chapter that you want. I see that there's just so much potential for you to be very successful in this direction, but you need to like really like plan this out, flush this out, stay dedicated, stay focused, stay consistent, and you'll be able to push past all of this. You're gonna be able to manifest, you know, the earth is all about regrounding yourself, finding your grounding, your security, your way of making money and creating 
and meeting all of your wants and needs. That's what the earth is about. It's about figuring all of that out. It's like that survival. And so it's like you're able to do that through this planning and through creating these proper boundaries and finding balance of um, what you are now building. And I definitely see that courses or having some sort of um, person that you look up to that you can learn from, that you can ask questions from is going to be really helpful for you in building this new chapter. So let's go ahead and see what else we get for you here. My group ones, it looks like, oh, very exciting stuff. <laughs> I'm going to be more careful with these candles without candle holders. My goodness. Um, let's see. We also have the lost star. So there could be certain things in your life that maybe you feel like you still have to like figure out and maybe we're kind of, we're so open. We've opened up all the possibilities because we've ended this chapter and maybe we're still kind of figuring out the direction that we're going to go from here. And this is a rebirth out of the darkness into the light through the month of March. You are figuring out exactly what it is you want and exactly the direction that you're going to go. The exploration card can also indicate that we might be focused on traveling as well. Like maybe we want to see some more of the world. Maybe you have certain travel plans coming up in this next month. And if so, it is here and it looks like there's really good fortune around that. So out of darkness into light, it's going to help you figure out more of who you are and more of who you're meant to be in the direction that you're supposed to go in. We also have the aquamarine star expression. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love. Wow. This is a time of the way that you speak to yourself. The things that you tell yourself are going to be really important. For example, if you're if you go into this new stage and you're like, wait a minute, I'm so full of worries. Why did I do that? I should just go back. I should just go back. Like that's not going to be, that's not going to be encouraging. The way to find success here is to express your intuition, which is definitely calling you to end this chapter, explore out these new options, build this new kind of life for yourself, self-confidence and love. This is your month of building self-confidence and building love. Okay. And things might be a little bit up in the air, but that's beautiful because when they're up in the air, <laughs> King of Swords, when they're up in the air, you unlock unlimited potential where you get to completely write a new chapter, a new story for yourself. And you're the one that gets to be creatively architecting and designing this new reality. So, um, it's like you get to completely have creative reign here and spirit is very excited for you. Like I keep feeling like your spirit guides are coming through being like, Oh my gosh, yes. Do not doubt yourself. Fill yourself with the confidence of this because that's where you're going to, um, be able to manifest all the different potentials. So let's go ahead and see what else we get for you here. My group ones. And it's interesting that all of these cards and you end up being group number one, because group one, like the numerology of one is all about a new beginning, a new start, a new version of you, a rebirth, a metamorphosis in your life, a huge change and transformation and being a leader as well. And the King of Swords is such a leader and he's a planner and he thinks about all the things. And something that I'm definitely feeling in this group is like you're leaving behind some of the material world in order to open up more potential for yourself and it's going to be exciting. Okay. So take advantage of this time. We also have seasonal harvest. I do see you being able to figure out new ways of like calling in more abundance, but it's also time to remember, okay, the seasonal harvest, there's seasons in life. You are entering a more planning stage, which you get to plan exactly what seeds you want to plant. And then in spring, that's where you plant the seeds and you start watering them. That's where all the water comes through and spring is represented by the cups, which is the water element. Then summer is represented by the fire, the wand element, which is about taking action and continuing through no matter how hard it gets and staying dedicated, staying consistent. And then the pentacles is the winter or sorry, the fall season, which is the harvest season. That's where the fruits of your labor come out and the swords are um, connected to winter, which is the contemplation, the reviewing of the previous year and seeing what you want to change and what you want to do moving forward. And it's the planning stage. So you're entering that planning stage again, and this is going to help you kind of move forward in new ways. I do see you planting new seeds. 
like planting new seeds in your life, new ideas, new intentions, but you have to stay dedicated if you want to see them grow. Just like growing a garden, you have to water it. You have to make sure it's getting enough sunlight. You have to make sure it's not over watered. You have to fertilize it, all those things. So this new stage that you're creating in your life, you're going through that, that planning phase, but remember that the month of March is also about nurturing those new seeds in order to continue moving forward and also nurturing yourself and having that self-confidence. Trust your intuition. When you're looking at those seeds, what do they need? Do they need more of your action? Do they need more planning? Do they need more, <laughs> you know, what do they need, right? So what else do we get for you here, my group ones? We also have rebirth and reinvention. I'm not even surprised. Look at spirit speaking so clearly here. So yeah, rebirth, reinvention. You are totally at a phase of reinventing yourself and you have all this unlimited potential. I'm getting goosebumps while I'm even saying this. You have so much unlimited potential around you right now to change so much in your life, to completely reinvent who you are to tell yourself a new story, to create a new story for yourself. Like there's just so much going on here and it's so beautiful. And I'm very excited for this new stage for you. I also see you being more playful, having more fun. These dolphins in the background, I feel like this new stage for you, it's like, I wanna have fun with my life. I don't want to feel like I am a like slave to my life where I'm a slave to my responsibilities and this job that maybe I don't like or all these other different things that I don't like. It's like, you're really freeing yourself here, which is amazing. And the dolphins are playfulness. They are fun, but they're also incredibly intelligent at the same time. They're one of the most in in intelligent animals. And this is talking about your new energy, using your wisdom and your intelligence while also being playful and having fun with this new chapter. So that is very exciting. Also, here are some more cards for us. We, we have metamorphosis, which is all about the rebirth. Everything that we've been talking about here, spirit is you know, being repetitive, but sometimes it's so good to hear the repetition because it really helps solidify different things. We also have the bone collector and we have wide open and then come together. You are on this whole new wide open road. There could be somebody that you are coming together with or deepening a bond with. Maybe somebody who's on the same sort of phase as you, or maybe you're making plans with somebody that maybe you're both going through this ending and you're like, okay, well, it's time to start this new road together. Or this could be meeting somebody new who's on a similar path that you are going to be moving forward with. Okay, bone collector is when we are seeing every single thing that we have in front of us and being able to utilize those different skills, those talents, those resources that we have. So it's almost like you're collecting things. Maybe you've been saving your money for a little bit because you knew this transition was gonna come up or perhaps there has been um, like collecting all the different things that you have and now you're kind of piecing it together. You're piecing together what you do have in order to sort of set the foundation and lay the foundation for this new stage of your life. But this is absolutely a new beginning for you where there's wide open possibilities that you get to explore, you get to have fun with. And I do feel like, okay, if you're unsure about things still, if there's this little bit of a lost energy where you're unsure about this next stage of your life and maybe you don't know exactly what it's gonna look like yet because maybe you haven't flushed it out entirely, the month of March is your planning stage and your figuring out stage. So continue to try new things. Like this wheel right here, it's the astrological wheel, but it's also very connected to like the wheel of fortune where you get to spin it, it lands on a certain thing and you're like, okay, let's go try that or let's try that. And then you see what fits, you see what feels good, you see what works for you. You don't need to have it all figured out you know, tomorrow, this is something where you're going to be figuring it out more and more each day. You're going to be coming together more and more every day that passes because you're either going to, you know, try something and maybe it doesn't resonate with you. And you're like, okay, not that, not that direction. And then you're going to maybe try something else the other day. And you're like, oh, that, that feels a bit more right. That feels closer. And that's going to develop. Okay. Bone collector. You are collecting experiences. You're going to be collecting ideas, trying different things out, maybe collecting different opportunities, other more resources for this next stage and chapter of your life. You're also collecting everything that you've learned 
thus far in your life and you're helping lay out this new map, create this new map for yourself. And even if it does feel like a little bit of a struggle, that's okay because even butterflies, when they're a caterpillar turning into a butterfly, they have to go through a struggle of opening up that new chapter. And that struggle is so vital for them to even gain the strength to fly. If you help a butterfly out of its chrysalis and it doesn't struggle to get out of the chrysalis, it literally will not gain the strength to actually use its wings or fly. So you're doing it a disservice. So for you, if you are feeling a little bit of like struggle or worry or growing pains with this new chapter, know that that is essential to your growth because it's helping you being able to utilize your new gifts and your new gifts will help you fly and ascend to the next level in your life. And that's going to be beautiful. So that is some of the information for your month of March. We're gonna go ahead and dive into our Astro Dice to get a little bit more. First, we're gonna take our Zodiac Sign Dice. We're gonna roll it three times to get the top three most likely Zodiac Signs to be in your life this month. So let's see what we get for you. We have Pisces, so Pisces energy, Aquarius energy, and Gemini energy. Pisces, Aquarius, and Gemini energy are the top three most likely zodiac signs to be in your life through the month of March. And let's go ahead and roll all these together now to get any last information for you. Ooh, there's one that really fell there. We got Gemini um, that fell on the floor, but we also have the South Node, the 11th house. Ooh, somebody from the past might be coming back into your life and they could be a Gemini. Okay, so South Node can usually indicate our past or it can also indicate different things that we've already previously learned that maybe we are utilizing moving forward. Maybe you've already studied something or maybe you already have and honed into a, a certain skill that's going to really come in handy for you um, in this next month. But also since we have the 11th house, I really feel like a friend from the past who's most likely a Gemini or has this maybe Gemini type of energy, maybe somebody that you talk to, maybe somebody that you've even met online or somebody that you've learned from is going to be coming back into your life. Possibly you're going to learn from them, ask them questions, or maybe they're going to be the person that you kind of come together with in order to build whatever this new chapter is in your life. Um, but yeah, there's definitely possibly somebody from the past that's going to come back into your life and you might rekindle a relationship or being able to bounce ideas off of each other or just have conversations that are really helpful for both of you. Maybe you have a friend who's already doing a certain career that you really like or living a life or having built something that you really want to build in your life. And perhaps you're going to be connecting with that person and being able to pick their brain, learn from them or other things like that. So that is what we have here. My group number one's all about your month of March. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this video. I'm sending you so much love and until next time. Bye. All right. My group two is if you chose this pile, this is going to be your reading for the month of March. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, my group two is we have Jupiter, journey and cycles and phases. Whenever we have cycles and phases showing up, this is a um, calling that's showing us like where are our current habits or cycles and patterns that keep popping up that maybe are keeping us stuck or keeping us in a loop that maybe we're wanting to exit. This is a month where I see that you're almost making a promise to yourself to end a cycle and phase. <laughs> Perhaps there's something that just keeps happening. We keep falling back into a pattern. We keep falling back into a habit. We keep saying to ourselves, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to stop doing that. But somehow we keep ending up back there. This is your month where I really see this sort of like spring cleaning of getting rid of those habits, those cycles, those patterns. It's almost like making a promise to yourself that you're not going to fall back in those loops anymore. Also, we have Jupiter and journey. So Jupiter is the planet of abundance and expansion. And I see you exploring entirely new things that can help you kind of get out of this stuck phase or break these cycles and patterns in your life that have been maybe holding you back and you're able to explore and move forward. Look at this journey is about moving forward. 
opening up. There's opening up a whole new realm of possibilities over here. And as long as we're able to break this, oh my gosh, unlimited potential up in your future. And Jupiter, the planet of luck and miracles and abundance and expansion and travel uh, is, you know, awaiting here. And it's almost like I see you beginning to realize truly what your potentials really are and how if we just get out of our own way and we stop this negative cycle that we've been on, whew, it's going to open up all these new realms for you. And I see the month of March being a time of you exploring those things and um, pushing yourself beyond your own limits. Like perhaps you always felt stuck by this because you felt like you didn't have enough strength to actually truly end it. Or maybe it has offered you something that you didn't want to be without. You know, sometimes we get stuck on certain cycles and patterns and phases because it brings us comfort or it brings us some other, like it's filling a void for us. Right. But sometimes part of the journey is to have the void and seek other things that are probably healthier that can support us on the journey of where we want to go rather than staying stuck in that loop, right? So I see the month of March being about that. We also have Ace of Cups. You are finding something to fill whatever that void is, a new way of finding comfort, a new way of finding fulfillment. So that's very positive. I also see some of you, you might have a desire to like eat healthier or you're watching what you're consuming. Perhaps you're wanting to like end a cycle and become really healthy and go on the journey. Like there's a journey here of either, yeah, getting healthier, um, getting to a better stage of your life. This could also be ending toxic relationships as well. Like perhaps there's cycles and patterns that we have with certain people in our life that are not healthy for us. And maybe we're like, no, I'm going to go on that journey. And I, even though I might be alone by doing that, it's like, we understand that it's going to be so much better for our expansion, so much better for our own evolution to end those cycles. I also see a new interest coming in. There's a new interest. Ace of Cups can indicate either a new romantic interest, but it can also indicate a new emotional interest for us, such as like a new hobby or a new friendship even, or a new sort of thing that calls our interest that is fulfilling emotionally for us. That is coming in in the month of March. There's emotional fulfillment coming through. We also have the hermit being reversed. This is when we're uh, getting out of our shell, getting out of our comfort zone. If you have been spending a lot of time indoors, inside, maybe doing the same routine, maybe do, oh, the same routine is popping up. Oh my goodness. If you have been stuck in the same routine and you're kind of getting a little tired of it, and you're like, life has just gotten a little bit mundane. I'm always just waking up, doing the same thing, eating breakfast, taking a shower, going to work, doing this, coming home, fall asleep. And you're probably like, wait a second. I need to like change this up a little bit. The month of March is you opening up a new journey to absolutely explore completely new routines, new schedules. You are expanding your horizons. Um, I also see you possibly changing up your schedule in some way or trying to work something in to where it's not doing the same thing every day. And there is going to be new opportunities. There is going to be new things that you're trying and that are actually quite fulfilling for you. And I think they're going to cause a lot of excitement, which is amazing. It's going to help you go on this new journey of exploration and kind of create, yeah, new uh, patterns and schedules and all of that. We also have the hangman being reversed, which is the best position for this card to be in. So the hangman indicates that um, we've been stuck, but when it comes up and shows up in the reverse position, it shows that we are getting unstuck and we're also shifting our perspective. So if you have been stuck in old mindsets, a mindset that's been keeping you stuck or holding you back, this is ending in the month of March. You are shifting your perspective. There could be like somebody that you're talking to that helps you shift this perspective or just epiphanies, realizations that you're having that's like, oh, let me go and do this now or let me try this new thing or let me approach this in a new way. It just seems like possibly we've gotten a little bit bored with our current pattern cycle routine and this is the month of changing it up. 
We also have the Wheel of Fortune coming through, which is all about changing things up and getting a new fortune going. And things are gonna be on the up and up for you, especially if they've kind of felt like a little bit boring and on the downhill lately. And look at these moon phases. We have the same kind of like moon phases going through here as we do over here. Your schedule is changing. And I also think that you have been having this plan to either change the timing in which you wake up and go to bed and live your life. Like I feel like you're wanting to flip that a little bit. Like either you're wanting to become more of a morning person or you're wanting to give yourself more time in the evening either way. But I am seeing this kind of shift here in your life. I feel like a lot of you watching this, you're wanting more sunlight in your day. I feel like that's the most common kind of energy that I'm feeling here is you're wanting more sunlight and, um, you're also changing your cycle and phase here. If some of you have been struggling with sleep or um, just wanting to kind of have better quality sleep, I see you working on that and possibly doing things that are gonna help benefit that. In March, we also have judgment coming through. So uh, the critical voices that have been in your head or the voices that have been constantly telling you like, ah, I don't like this anymore or all this stuff, you are healing that in this next month, healing those things. And you're finally answering the call. Judgment is also when we're being called towards something new. We're being called to change something. We're being called to expand ourselves. This is your month of answering that call, stepping up and following those voices where they're guiding you, where they're leading you. Anytime that we feel uncomfortable and anytime that we're feeling negative, it is a sign from our inner guidance system that says, we're not where we're supposed to be right now. We need to do something. We need to change something up because this isn't where it's feeling right. It doesn't feel right anymore. And so we need to address that. We need to listen to that. And I feel like you have, but maybe, maybe we've been a little bit lost, but the beautiful thing about being lost is you're not actually ever lost. Whenever we feel lost, it's because there's so many potentials in front of us and we just need to try to explore new things. That is your month. And these new things that you're exploring are really going to help you um, unlock new ideas, new interests, new fulfillment, new ways of fulfilling yourself. Um, I'm seeing some of you getting really into taking care of your skin and drinking more water, being able to really flush your body of toxins or other things that have been sitting there and kind of, you know, whatever we eat, whatever we consume, it becomes us, right? Like our cells, when our body's building our new cells, it literally takes the DNA from what we eat and takes that to rebuild our and piece together our new cells, our new DNA, right? And so what you consume literally does become you. You are what you eat. And I do feel like some of you are really focused on cleansing yourself. This Ace of Cups is so deeply like cleansing and it's about nourishment. It's also about self-love and it's also sometimes manifesting more love in your love life. It can also be about that as well in a new chapter in your love life. But for the most part, when I'm looking at your group, the feelings that I'm really getting from this is this inner cleanse, wanting to feel cleansed, wanting to feel refreshed, wanting to feel nourished rather than feeling like, you know, when you eat a bunch of junk food and you're kind of just like, you actually feel ick after you feel heavy, you feel way down. You can feel that your body's kind of like, that's heavy. Like this is a month where I just see you kind of fleshing things out and, um, being more dedicated and focused on feeling good and nourishing yourself, loving yourself. So that's uh, kind of what's coming through there in that card. And also self-love. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you get into like self-love meditations or um, self-love affirmations or doing other things to kind of build up your, your inner self-love. Let's go ahead and see what else we get for you, my love. Let's see, group two, group two. And group two is all about replanning or new planning, right? We also have the card here of Ascend, the cosmos, and I connect to oneness and expand my awareness. The areas in which you feel stuck right now or have been feeling stuck are completely ending. Expanding your awareness. I think that you're gonna become aware that there is absolutely more things out there in the world that can pique your interest, that you can replace old patterns and habits with, that you can shift and change up. There's like unlimited possibility and I just see so much positivity pouring in because of this and ascending old limiting patterns, old limiting beliefs and things like that. So let's see what else we got for you for the month of March, my love. 
Group two, group two. Ooh, I'm really feeling these two cards. Let's see, we have the visionary, creating a new vision for your life. With an intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. Your imagination is going to um, come to the surface a lot this month. Especially if you felt like writer's block or a type of block where it's like anytime you try to think of like how to change something or to find the solution for something, maybe it's been difficult to do so. This month, the intuitive ideas, the epiphanies are coming through. We also have the diamond star, destiny. Ooh, <laughs> I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. Wow. Your Wow, you are connecting so much deeper to who you're meant to be, what you're meant to be doing. There has been this feeling of lack of fulfillment either in your career or in your life, in your schedule, in your day-to-day -day routine. And that has been gnawing on you, but judgment is also answering the higher purpose, answering the higher call. So you've possibly had a calling to step outside of your comfort zone, to maybe expand, to put yourself out there in a new way, to step up into a new, higher purpose for yourself. And even if you're slightly unclear about what that is, I feel like the month of March is making that clear for you with these new interests, this new fulfillment, this kind of like cleanse. And I really feel like it's opening up more purpose for you you're going to feel more fulfilled and you're going to feel as if your actions have more purpose in your life. And that's, oh, I got goosebumps while saying that. It's really going to be very beautiful for you. You might even unlock new interests that end up leading you down a new road or a new path that will allow you to expand in your abundance, in your life, in your fulfillment, and all of that. So that's very exciting. Let's go ahead and see what else we get for you. We have air magic. This is the uh, planning. It can also be about writing. If any of you are doing any kind of writing or planning or creative work where it uses a lot of mental energy and some sort of writing or figuring stuff out, magic is coming through. The inspiration is coming through this month. You're gonna get brand new ideas to help you along this path. I also feel like spirit is coming down to give you ideas. Oh, they're coming down. And if any of these, if you get strong, like negative, like, like, oh, I need to let that go, or I need to change that. If it comes through in a strong way like that, that's actually part of that air magic energy that's calling you to make a change. It's calling you to make a shift because once you do, you are going to find the magic after making that shift. Air magic, that's a very powerful one. Okay, let's see what else we get for you here. Group two, what else do we have here, month of March? We also have joy and delight. Ah, <laughs> coming back to the lighthearted energy, finding new things that are gonna be very fun and exciting for you. Being able to laugh and have like genuine fun rather than feeling like you're stuck in a critical sort of blah phase. Joy and delight, like your expansion, you are opening up. The new ideas are coming through. There might even be a, a day in March that you just feel like, oh my God, I have so much, in, so much inspiration. I just need to act on it. I need to move forward. I feel like March 3rd is gonna be very powerful for you. I'm also getting the dates of like March 18th and 19th that are gonna be very powerful. And March 27th is coming through as well. So. Those are some powerful dates that are coming through. Again, it is a general reading, so those dates can shift a little bit, but those are the dates coming through that I'm just getting a lot of ooh, goosebumps from spirit saying like those are gonna be important dates for you where there's a lot of like magic coming through, inspiration, or they might even be some of your tough days, but those tough days, remember, that, that inner like, ugh, the emotions of toughness or dislike or being upset with yourself, are there to help you make change. They're, they're there to help you break your current patterns and cycles and to focus on making change because this is your month where the hangman is reversed, the hermit is reversed. This is getting out of your regular routine, getting out of your shell, trying new things, new epiphanies, new perspectives. And But we have to start shifting out of those old cycles and patterns in order to welcome that in. And that's gonna be what brings you to this joy and delight. So let's go ahead and see what else we get for you, my group twos. 
We also have home, spending more time outside of your home. I feel like that's why that card came up reverse. Spirit was like, oh, spending more time outside of your home or outside of your regular kind of homey comforts, your homey routines and things like that. Um, getting out a little bit more. Also 27 is popping up and I believe that that was one of the numbers that I said was coming to my mind. <laughs> so 27th of March is going to be an important date. We also have one ring circus. Um, you can only have one routine, right? I don't mean we can have like multiple routines on different days or whatever, right? But uh, something that's coming through is your patterns, the ring it's changing, it's like the circus. It's like we're adding more fun into that routine. We're adding more pleasure back into our life. Letting go of anxiety, letting, and the anxiety is coming because we're not making the change that you know you need to make. Ah! But this is your month of, it's like, I don't wanna sit with that anxiety anymore. I'm gonna make the change. I'm gonna do something different. And you got this all on your own. That's also another message coming through here. If you feel like worried, like, do I have what it takes to do this on my own? Yes, 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 you do. One ring circus. You absolutely have what it takes to do this on your own. Elephants are about good luck as well. So good luck is on your side. The elephant spirit is there. So let's go ahead and dive into our astro dice now. We're gonna roll the zodiac sign dice three times to get the top three most likely zodiac signs to be in your life during the month of March, and then we're also gonna roll all of them together to get any last information for you. So let's see. We have Pisces, so Pisces energy is coming through. Libra energy. And Virgo energy. So Pisces, Libra, and Virgo are the top three most likely zodiac signs. And let's see what else we have coming through for you. So we have the North Node, which is all about your destiny, your purpose in Libra in the second house, changing stuff in your physical reality, finding more balance, okay? So balance when it comes to your finances, when it comes to what you own and have. So you might possibly be giving certain stuff away. Maybe you're doing a house clean out and wanting to get rid of certain things and bring in more balance when it comes to what you purchase, what you buy and your bills. Ooh, I'm, I just got a message of like canceling subscriptions that maybe you didn't even realize that you're still uh, subscribe to, but maybe you don't even utilize them anymore. I see you ending that in order to find more balance here, in order to kind of like uh, trim down on certain expenses. The North Node is also about your destiny and purpose. So I do feel like you're also maybe beginning to siphon some of your energy and some of your time more towards building and investing in your future and in your future plans, because it seems like you're wanting to kind of change things up a little bit and you will be kind of planning for something new. And I see you balancing out and finding ways to bring more resources towards building a new future and this new path that you are creating here. So that is what we have here for you, my group number twos. Thank you so much for joining me here today for your March prediction. I'm sending you so much love through today and the rest of this month and all the months and years to come. And I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, my group threes, if you chose this pile, this is gonna be a reading, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, group three, why am I seeing you really focused on your future this month? Really focused on the things that you decide to do now are going to you know, build your future, which is an amazing thing to be focusing on. It's an amazing thing to be thinking, but wow, this is like a major focus for you this month. And I feel like you are building something big. Like I am getting this big feeling from spirit right now. And look at this cause and effect card. You are seeing how your actions right now, the things that you do right now are going to have effect and play out into your future. We also have the card of stability and direction. So you're figuring out how you can create stability. You're also planning for the direction that you want to go and looking how what I do today, what I do right now is going to decide the direction of my future. It's going to decide the stability of my future. The sun is this radiance card and it's uh, filling ourselves with more confidence. So perhaps you're planning something really big and you're telling yourself like, hey, I need to be confident about this. I need to go into this. I need to um, have all 
the, the good intentions and the, the good self-talk and the optimism around this new path if I'm going to really do it, if I'm gonna really create this. And I just see you really planning something big here, like group three. I feel as if you want to manifest something really big in your future. Um, and like perhaps this is like a business that you're wanting to create or success. Oh, I'm getting the feeling success. Spirit wants me to use the word success because that's gonna ring true for all of you. So there's this type of success that you're really wanting to create in your future. And this is your month of being authentic and um, stepping into your radiance, stepping into your confidence, stepping more into the spotlight with what it is that you want. So not falling into perfectionism. Instead, it's just like, let's dive into it. Let's work on it. Like I see you working on things. Pluto is the planet of transformation and it's the planet of metamorphosis. It's the planet of change. And it's also the planet that it will cut anything out of its life that it needs to in order to let go of whatever is holding it back. So this is also a time where I think you're going to be evaluating anything that you're like, I don't need that anymore. I don't, this is holding me back. I don't need to be doing that anymore. And I think you're going to be very particular on where you spend your time, where you spend your energy. I see you being very focused on the people that you either surround yourself with or where you give your time, because I feel like your time is very precious to you right now because you're really, I think you just have all these kind of like big plans going on and, um, you're very focused on where you're putting that time. Pluto is this energy that I feel like you're going through right now and you're going through this rebirth, this reinvention of who you are, this reinvention of your future because I feel like you're you're getting really big into manifestation right now. Group threes, I'm feeling this energy like you are really big into manifestation and perhaps you have a vision in mind that you're like, yes, I'm gonna make that happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all those things and it's gonna really take this courage to look at and evaluate what you need to cut away from your life or what you just need to take a break from and step away from versus where you do need to put all of your focus. Like I see all these little dots being all the different things that you're dropping in order to make more room, more time, more energy to focus on this big thing that you're kind of wanting to focus on here. So let's see what your other cards are. We also have the world being reversed. So there's something, it's not quite complete yet. It's not quite finished yet, but there is something that it, you are working on. Or perhaps this can also talk about closing out an old chapter and maybe you're putting on the finishing touches to something so that you can complete a particular chapter of your life and you're getting ready for something bigger. You're getting ready for success because you're like, oh, it's inevitable for me. If I put in all the right actions, I'm gonna get it. And yeah, I just see you prepping and figuring everything out. So, very exciting. Um, we also have the devil showing up. So this can talk about the different things that we're chained to. Maybe there's certain fears that you have when stepping into your confidence or stepping into your power or making these changes or doing these things. There might be certain things that we still feel really tied to, really obligated to. Um, perhaps there's a lot of responsibilities that keep coming up or a lot of obligations that keep coming up. And this is gonna be your month of like, let me just wrap those things up. Let me finish those things up. And it's also your month of confidence building and getting rid of the things in your life that might still be holding you back. These could be limiting beliefs, fears, old ways in which you used to repress yourself and say like, no, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, let me not go in that direction, or let me stay stuck to this because I, I don't believe I'm worthy of more, or all these different things that might be coming up. The devil is when we face those things and we start to bring awareness to realize like, oh, that's been the thing that's holding me back. That's been something that I'm attached to and I know it's not good for me. I know it's standing in the way. So this is your month of getting rid of that. We also have Six of Swords, which is a positive card that talks about a time of transition and leaving something behind. It can be a little bit bittersweet, but we know that the direction that we're going in is very positive. So perhaps we're leaving behind, you know, a, a previous chapter. And maybe we're like, oh, well, I do have sentimental value there. I loved that chapter of my life, but I know I'm ready for something more. I know it's time to 
push off into a new direction. This could also be an energy of saying goodbye to something or someone, you know, if we have any relationships that are holding us back or holding us down or aren't healthy for us, this can indicate leaving that behind and having the courage to do that. This can also indicate leaving our comfort zone behind an area where we used to feel comfortable, but knowing like, I don't want to be there anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to give it my time. I don't want to give it my energy. So yes, moving on. We also have seven of swords being reversed. This card can indicate that maybe we're trying to rush different things. And it's a reminder that sometimes we do need to slow down and not cut corners if we want to do it right, if we want to do it properly, and if we truly want to get the success that we want, need, and deserve. It requires patience. It requires um, dedication to that process and not trying to figure out ways of like, you know, yeah, <laughs> cutting corners or anything like that. We also have eight of cups. Wow, you are absolutely on a journey of transformation, leaving things behind, going through a massive change in your life. And it's coming from a place of where perhaps you weren't feeling fulfilled before, like it, it felt like something was missing in your life or it felt like, you know, we accumulated a lot. We're proud of ourselves for what we have, but we do want more and that's okay. This card can also show up when we have been having feelings of guilt for wanting more. Like perhaps we're like, oh, I should just appreciate what I have. I, I feel guilty when I, when I feel those feelings that I do want more. But the thing is, is we are humans with an innate instinct to always improve or to always have goals or something to strive towards because that's what makes us feel good. And there's nothing wrong with that. We are here to have a human experience. You are not greedy for wanting more. Let me be the one to tell you that right now. And your soul is urging for that because your soul has this inner GPS that knows what it came here to experience. And so it's about uh, finding ways of fulfilling that experience and going on that journey. So I do see you exploring entirely new things in March. I see you possibly leaving certain things behind that you know are just not going to be brought into this next chapter or that you know shouldn't be brought into this next chapter. Again, for some of you, this could be leaving behind a relationship or friendship or um, old things that you used to build up, like old projects that you were working on or different responsibilities or other things that you're just like, I need to walk away for a little bit. Um, I also see you possibly taking a little bit of a break from work or um, taking a certain break from your responsibilities in some way, although responsibilities, I mean, they're there, <laughs> they're there for a reason, but um, there's going to be like important reasons that you have for taking a little bit of time for yourself or some time away because you're building something big, you're making plans for something big, but it's gonna require a little bit of sacrifice, sacrificing your time, your energy to, to put it towards this big thing that you have. So whew, let's see what else we get for you. Group three. Group three, the month of March. What else do we have for you? Okay, we also have the awakener. So rise. Um, for one, this is making me feel like you're gonna change the time in which you wake up and you're probably gonna wanna wake up a little bit earlier. I feel like that might be one of your goals that you have this month is to get out of bed earlier. But out of the ashes, I rise like the golden sun. So there's something that you are just like, you're like, you're ready to leave it, but this is going to allow you to rise. It's gonna allow your radiance stepping more into the spotlight light, um, stepping into your confidence when it comes to yourself, confidence in your decisions. Oh my goodness. If you've been holding yourself back because you're, you haven't been fully confident in the decision, the month of March is going to be entirely different because you realize that you just have to go all in. You have to be confident about it and you have to trust your inner guidance, right? And so this is your time of rising. I do feel like, again, you're going to be waking up earlier, um, getting more sun, wanting to be more in the sun maybe wanting to be more in the spotlight too, being more kind of just like in the authenticity. We also have the star mother loved. The universal mother loves and supports me totally. So realizing you are supported. You absolutely are supported on this journey. And you are not greedy. You are not completely on your own. The universe is on your side when it comes to this. We also have, sorry, I'm like knocking my camera. We also have the Jade Star Surrender. I'm ready to let go with self-compassion. Wow. So what are you letting go of? What are you surrendering to? 
what are you kind of starting to realize that you're like, okay, I can't like make this situation perfect. I'm going to have to leave something behind. It's going to be a little bit bittersweet, but you just know you got to do it. We also have the universal midwife birth. Wow, so some of you, this could actually be literal. You know, maybe you're wanting to get pregnant. Maybe you are about to have a baby, you know? Maybe this is in your life right now. This could be a literal thing, but this could also be metaphorical, a metaphorical birth. You could be an entrepreneur that's ready to give birth to the new project that you've been thinking of. You're ready to go on that new stage of, you know, um, bringing your idea to life. That's what birth can indicate as well. It can also be taken literally. So I birth fruitful and sacred assignments. You're wanting to find that success in what you're doing and be successful in your endeavors, your projects. You're, if, if this is a literal card, you're wanting to be a successful mother. You're wanting to uh, be nurturing, to show up there, to give your time, your all to your child. But again, that can be taken in a more metaphorical sense as well. And we also have the sacred orchard, co-create my abundance mindset attracts endless blessings. Yes, I feel like you've been into the manifestation world lately. Um, and I see that you are focused on creating more lucrative um, journeys, paths, manifestations to create more abundance in your life. And I really feel like a lot of this deals with unhinging yourself from those old limitations, unhinging yourself from holding yourself back out of fear or doubt, cutting yourself away from people who are keeping you stuck, all of these different things. Okay, let's dive into some more cards here. My group three is your month of March. Let's find out more about what March has to bring for you. Let's see. Group three is your month of March. Oh my goodness. Let's take all these cards that are facing upright. I feel like those are the ones that spirit wants to talk about with you. So water magic. Water magic is when we're using our emotions and we're using our intuition to guide us to what we're supposed to be doing, to what we're supposed to be focusing on and putting our energy towards. You're going to be much more focused on, um, like your, the water indicates like your life force energy, your emotions. What are you pouring that into? You need to focus on your own fulfillment. That way you have energy to put towards what you want. If there are certain things that are siphoning away your sense of fulfillment, different things that just make you feel drained. It is time to get rid of those things. It is time to focus on your water magic. How can you keep your cup full? And how can you put yourself first in order to always make sure that your cup is full and that you're always giving from a full cup, right? And whenever it's feeling a little bit drained, it's time to rejuvenate. It is time to focus on you. It's time to put yourself first because we don't wanna be trying to give from an empty cup. We don't wanna feel drained ever completely. And that's going to be an important part of your journey. And I feel like that's something important that you are realizing right now in your life. We also have give love. I, I see this as you giving love to yourself because I feel like that's one of your most important things right now is to be able to give love to yourself and to the things that you're most passionate about and to also the people who really deserve it. We also have ground and center, getting grounded. This is so important, finding your sense of center, finding that inner balance. If you have anxiety that comes through sometimes where it's like, it's like, oh my God, I get so worried about that or I start getting really caught up in different things. This month, I think you're also really taking seriously your mental, emotional, and physical health to feel grounded, to feel more centered, to feel more balanced in your life. And I feel like that's going to be very important for you. The um, earth energy here also talks about your foundation. So making a more secure, steady, reliable foundation in your life. We also have fire magic coming through, which is all about your inspiration, your creativity, it's also your, it's part of your energy as well and the kind of willpower and drive that you have. 
So I see you also um, focusing on making your energy more ready, more vital, and more like filled with vitality. I see you focused on that. And I also see this as a month of inspiration as well and taking your inspiration and being able to pour it into manifesting something. Uh, ground and center can also indicate that we are so ready to kind of start building something and working on something. We're seeing the progress of something. And then we also have give into passion. So what are the things that you're most passionate about? You're going to be called towards um, putting more time and energy towards what you're passionate about. Perhaps you're going to take up certain hobbies that's like, that's really fulfilling for me to focus on, to put my energy towards. Let's see what else we get for you, my group threes. Why do I feel like a lot of you who chose this group, like you're really into making your passion your career? I feel that for a lot of you who chose this group. And I feel like that's a big thing that you're working on here. And then um, we also have dry desert. And we also have protecting treasure. You're going to be much more protective of your time, your energy, and your resources. Much more protective of it. And I think you're practicing patience when it comes to spending decisions. What you spend your energy on, what you spend your time on, and what you spend your money on. You are much more patient. You're kind of protecting. You're much more protective around how you spend those resources because they're limited resources. We have a limited amount of time, a limited amount of energy, and of course, a certain amount of money. So you're gonna be much more patient and much more protective of how you spend those things. You're gonna be much more willing to say no this month in order to save for a rainy day, to save for when you kind of need it most, in order to save more for yourself so that you feel more fulfilled dry desert, there has been times where you've been feeling empty, that you've been feeling uninspired, that you have been feeling like dry when it comes to your fulfillment. Maybe some of you are also having dry skin lately, okay? And ooh, this has been a manifestation, your dry skin has been a manifestation of um, uh, drying yourself out of your resources, your time, your energy, and your money. You've been feeling dry in that area, right? But as you protect it, you fill up your cup with more moisture, more fulfillment, and that is going to also play a role in your skin not acting out and becoming a bit more feeling moist, feeling supple, and all of that because your body's reactions also start on an energetic level as well. So that's just a weird, odd message coming through. Um, but yes, if you have been dealing with that, of course, moisturizer helps with those things, but also looking at the energetic reasons why that's happening. But also here uh, with dry desert, you have been, I feel like going through times of feeling really dry, which is why you're gonna be much more um, focused on protecting your time, your energy, and your resources. So that's gonna be very positive for you. Let's go ahead and dive into our Astro Dice. We're going to take our Zodiac Sign Dice. We're gonna roll it three times to get the top three most likely Zodiac Signs to be in your life through this next month. So let's see, we have Gemini, Gemini energy coming through. We have Scorpio, Gemini, Scorpio, and Cancer. Those are the top three most likely zodiac signs to be in your life um, during this next month. And let's go ahead and roll all these together now. Okay, we have Venus in Leo in the sixth house. Ooh, this is all about career and work and being of service and your health your routine, your schedule, your immediate environment that you're in. So Venus, the planet of love, beauty, and money, wanting to feel more radiant, wanting to feel more stepping into your confidence when it comes to your work. There's something that I feel like you're going to be working on that perhaps you're really excited about and you're like, oh, I can't wait to be able to show that off or I can't wait to be able to talk about what it is that I am building right now and working on. There's something that is, yeah, that's being built right now and there's an excitement of showing it off. I also feel like perhaps like if you have a partner, like if you're in a relationship, I feel like they're gonna be really wanting to be of service to you and to help you out because they see how busy you are. They see how focused you are and they're really wanting to help you in that. Um, 
And then also, this is more about you as well, talking about how you're more focused on creating a better routine with your time, your money, and energy. I also see you putting more work and effort into yourself. Whenever Venus is in the sixth house, this can indicate that we start going to the gym more. This can indicate that we're really focused on getting our body and our health in order. Maybe you're focused on what you're eating and consuming a little bit more. It can also be when we're putting a lot of effort into our appearance, especially with it being in the sign of Leo. <laughs> Maybe you're wanting to get yourself put together more. You're wanting to feel put together. Oh my God. You know what? Whenever we see those like people that are like so put together and they're like on TV or it's even like creators online, they're like so put together. It can be really inspiring. And I noticed that whenever, oh, look at this candle. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be comments about that. It's like, oh my God, Jen, look at the candle. Okay, I will deal with that in a second, but at least wax, it just like peels right off this table, so it's fine. But anyway, um, but anyway, we see those people who have their stuff together and they're just so put together all the time. It's like really inspiring. I feel like this is gonna be you in March. You're focused on doing that. You're focused on being radiant, and I feel like you're gonna get a lot of compliments too because of it. So I feel you putting more effort into yourself, possibly even creating a more radiant appearance, like walking out with confidence and being like, ooh, like this could be a self-transformation that you're doing as well on a physical level. And maybe you're like, ooh, I wanna get really like hot this month. I wanna be like sexy and beautiful and, and all of that. And that is Venus in Leo in the sixth house. It's like putting effort towards that. And um, if you've been working out in the gym a lot, if you've been working on yourself in that way, I see you making progress towards your where you're looking in the mirror and you're like, ooh, who is that? Like, ooh. I see you taking more like photos, being more confident to kind of step out there, to shine, being really proud of yourself and the work that you've been putting into yourself. Huh. I see that being like so, like you're so proud of yourself for that. So I see a lot of progress being made in that sense. And that is what we have here, my group number threes. Thank you so much for joining me here for today's video all about your March energy, the March prediction. I'm sending you so much love and until next time, bye. All right, my group number four is if you chose this pile, this is gonna be your March prediction. So let's go ahead and find out what's in store for you. All right, so my group fours, we have Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Saturn as your first cards. So your month of March. Let's just talk about this Capricorn and Saturn first. This is about discipline, um, sticking to your responsibilities, your commitments that you have. So you're probably going into the month of March and perhaps you have certain commitments that are already there that are really important, that you need to meet certain deadlines or do certain things and get stuff done and i see you doing that and i see that working out really well but i also see that you're making time for fun and freedom and following your intuition a little bit perhaps you are somebody who maybe are you're wanting to stick to more of a routine and maybe before you used to kind of do things more intuitively and go with the flow and perhaps you're mixing in a little bit more of this sort of routine and discipline and having a particular schedule such as like for example um maybe you're somebody who tends to work a lot or do a lot and then you're not making enough room for fun and now you're gonna have like a schedule that says okay i'm only ever being productive and doing responsible work between this and this time and then the rest of it is fun and free-flowing or vice versa right maybe you're always sticking this to schedules and now making more room for fun or you know whatever you are creating more of a balance when it comes to schedule and routine versus like creative intuitive flow and going with the flow of things which i think is going to be so beneficial for you like the fact that we have scorpio and sagittarius which are both like intuitive go with the flow it's more of a free flowing type of energy and then we have this kind of like discipline getting stuff done energy it's a beautiful balance that you have going into the month of march and i also see you're going to be quite proud of like how much you're getting done in this next month which is going to be very nice as well so we also have the Knight of Wands coming up and it is reversed. <laughs> I get this feeling like you might tend to rush things or rush stuff to get stuff done or perhaps you haven't been making enough time to actually have fun, to give yourself that freedom to have fun. This is the month, the fact that we have Sagittarius coming up, you are going to be making room and making it a point, right? Sagittarius is the point of the arrow. You're gonna be making it a point to aim 
to have more freedom, to have more free time where you're not tied to responsibilities and you're not tied to feeling like, should I be productive right now? Or should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? It's like, no, let's give ourselves some time and space where we're not even thinking about that. And um, I really think that that's going to be a big point for you in this next month. And I also see you thinking about your future and what you're really wanting to create there. It seems like you're somebody who's very focused a lot of the times, but it's making more room for a little bit more of intuitive flow. We also have the 10 of cups, your time off that you're going to be creating and your time for freedom is going to be so positive for you. The 10 of cups indicates, um, having a very positive, like family experience or spending time with your loved ones, or even looking at what you've created and just being very proud of it. Like taking time out to be proud of yourself. That's the 10 of cups. And I do see you're going to have like people that are around you that are very supportive. And perhaps there's also something to celebrate. 10 of cups can indicate that we're celebrating something. This could be like a big accomplishment, a big milestone, or we're making plans for something in our future and we're like celebrating like, oh my goodness, it's going to be the year that we're doing this. It's going to be the time for this. Maybe you're planning like a big celebration in your future. The Ten of Cups can indicate weddings or a really big milestone, such as like a really important birthday, or it can also indicate um, celebrating a new job that you got or some sort of award or some sort of other like recognition or milestone that you're reaching. Ten of Cups can indicate celebrating those things, planning for them and looking forward to them in your future. So I do feel like you're making room for that. You're putting in the work maybe right now for something that you get to celebrate for in the future. And it's something that you're dedicated towards working on and then also making time to celebrate the small things along the way as well. We do also have the tower. When this shows up, it can indicate that there's something in our life that is no longer working for us in the same way. Like maybe this is an old schedule or routine or an, an old um, like standard that we used to live by for ourselves. Like maybe we've had a, um, a standard or a schedule that's been really just eating away at us. And this is a sign that it's kind of like time to end that and end those old patterns and cycles, which kind of makes sense with what we were talking about earlier on in this reading. The next card that we have is the queen of pentacles. She is productive. She knows how to nurture herself. She knows how to nurture her needs and those around her. She is also quite productive and and she's like on top of everything she's put together and she's meeting all of those like important big milestones or those big things that need to get done. She's focused on that and she knows how to make that happen. Oh, I am kind of getting this message with the tower card that there might be something that maybe you are committed to getting done this month that might not fully get done and don't be hard on yourself about it. That's something that is really coming through right now. Maybe you're at a rush to get so much done this month, but perhaps like not everything's going to get done. And that's fine. That happens like for all of us at some point. Right. And it's a regular thing. So don't be hard on yourself. Spirit is coming through right now saying, don't be hard on yourself for that. You are doing so much already. It's okay to like, you know, take time for you. It's okay to not meet every single requirement or every single thing on our list. It is okay. So that's something that I'm hearing for you. Next card that we have, we have the page of pentacles in the reverse position. So this is kind of, this is giving me the energy okay, with the queen of pentacles. She's kind of like handling the big stuff, the big responsibilities. The page of pentacles is kind of like those other smaller tasks such as other things that we were like, oh, I wanted to start that this month or I wanted to begin that this month. But when it's reversed, it's kind of like maybe, maybe we don't necessarily have the time for that because we're still taking care of all these other kind of big things that need to get done first. And so the small menial things, it's okay. And spirit is totally coming through right now saying it is okay, right? You are doing the big stuff and that's what matters right now. So don't be like too hard on yourself or anything like that. And then our last tarot card that we have is the six of wands being reversed. <laughs> this can come up. I, I'm getting a lot of like a similar message going on here about how you tend to be a little bit hard on yourself when you don't meet all of your goals. Or let's say you had like 
all of these things on your to-do list and let's say you only got like four things done you know and you're you're feeling like dissatisfied and you're like oh i didn't get those other last two things done in the day and like oh my gosh i you know you might be hard on yourself for that and again i'm getting this message coming through from spirit saying celebrate the things that you are getting done celebrate that take time to be proud of yourself because you are still moving ahead you are still moving forward and that's beautiful that is amazing okay so don't have these um expectations that are unable to be met that's what the tower talks about it's like building something up or putting way too much stuff on your plate where it's it's like we're gonna have to break it off at, at one point and we're gonna have to be like okay I can do this, but this might be a little bit unrealistic. So we might have to cut it short a little bit here. We might have to stop putting way too much of a load on ourselves, right? Because this tower is like splitting off right here. It's like we're only able to maybe have a capacity to meet here. And so maybe we have to let go of some stuff. That's what I'm really feeling. So don't, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? My beautiful group fours. Okay, you're going to be just fine. Spirit is coming through, being very proud of you for everything that you are doing and you should be proud of you too, okay? They really want you to celebrate yourself and what you are getting done and to be realistic with yourself. The Oracle forecast, I am the Oracle, my intuitive insights flow freely. You know, it's interesting we had Scorpio and then we're also getting this card coming through because both of them talk about your intuition. And I feel like you're more of an intuitive person when it comes to like when you get energetic spurts or when you feel like you need a break or when you feel like you need this. And sometimes I feel like your schedule ends up being like intuitive or that you're needing to bring in more of that intuitive flow and honor when yourself needs a break or when you're feeling burnt out or things like that. I also feel like this is a very intuitive month when it comes to like just feeling the energy of different things like feeling your future a little bit or feeling what somebody else is thinking or what they're actually meaning or, you know, I feel like you're a very intuitive person and you can always kind of feel things um, before they happen. And I, I feel like the month of March is going to bring in a lot of that intuitive energy uh, for yourself. And I think that following your intuition, listening to your intuition, listening to your emotional needs is going to be really important. Self-care is coming through as something that's going to be very important for you and making time for that and realizing that that's productive too. But <laughs> even if you fall short on that, that's okay too, right? Let's see what else we get. We also have the seven sisters, the circle. So sisterhood enriches my life. Spending time with those that you love, spending time with people that are, can support you, that can help lift you up. There could even be somebody in your life, like a queen of pentacles person. This could indicate like one of your friends or even your partner. And the queen of pentacles usually is an earth sign. So she would usually be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So if you have somebody in your life that is one of those signs, they might be coming through to really help you, help support you and be like somebody that you can really talk to. They might also help you get stuff done. Uh, so if you do have somebody in your life like that, I see that person coming through. But this card can also represent yourself. And I feel like for the most part, it is representing you and your energy which is being very productive quite disciplined and also being more aware of your time and schedule and making sure that you're still making room to take care of yourself because queen of pentacles she knows how to take care of herself she really does and she puts time and effort into doing that so i see you doing that this month as well and then we also have the triple star grid align i connect and align with my higher consciousness I think you're getting a lot of epiphanies and realizations this month when it comes to what it is that you really need and what is realistic for you to accomplish and get done. Um, ooh, and then I, Spirit wants me to come back to this. Like there is something that you're planning in the future or something that's gonna be really exciting to celebrate. And it could be coming up in the month of March for you or it could be something that you are um, planning for in the month of March and it's like in your future, like maybe this spring or summer where there's something kind of exciting that you're planning and that you get to look forward to, but maybe we just have to get a lot of work done before then in order to make room for that. 
and in order to make it kind of transpire and happen, perhaps we're just like needing to get a lot done in order to meet that, um, meet that plan that you're putting forth. Let's see what else we get for you, my group fours, for the month of March. Let's see, the month of March, my group fours. I'm also getting a lot of heart chakra energy. Sorry, when I'm looking at this card, I'm like smacking my camera. Um, and I'm also feeling an opulence energy when I look at this one. Opulence, like being surrounded by more abundance. Ooh. You might be getting a lot of like good ideas this month for bringing in more abundance or to feel more abundant in your life when it comes to your material world or your money. I, I feel like... Um, there's gonna be more ideas of how to gain more abundance there. Change in progress as well. Going with the flow, making it through difficult and navigating difficult times, navigating the bumps in the roads or the different challenges that are coming up. It's like change in progress. And also, this card reminds me of the Six of Swords in Tarot where it's like going into clearer, smoother waters. Look at your month of March. If you've been on a rocky ship lately where it's like, whoa, this or whoa, that, or like, whoa, this is like crazy. There's a lot going on. The month of March, there's change in progress. You're making progress to where things are smoothening or smooth, smoothing out. They're getting smoother. Um, and your life, your path just feels like, oh my God, like it's a breath of fresh air where we get to relax a little bit more. And it's like, okay, things are like coming together. They are working out and celebrate that, okay? It's gonna be time to celebrate that. And also you're gonna make it through those things absolutely fine and relax. It is okay. It's all happening in divine timing. Go with the flow of it. Let's see any other messages here. Woo. Let's see. A bunch of cards came out. So we also have go with the flow. No wonder that one's coming out for you. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so funny. It's literally what we were talking about. Pretty much this entire reading. Um, follow your dreams is coming up. I think you have a vision or goal that you're gonna be really um, striving to make progress towards, which I think that this vision or goal has to deal with this 10 of cups energy. Um, something that you're planning or looking forward to, it's like a big either celebration or milestone or success that you are reaching and you're going with the flow, you're making progress on that and you're following your vision of, of making it come to life. We also have the card of plant the seeds I think there's a lot of like planning this month and preparation for this kind of like success in your future or this celebration. There's like planning and preparation happening this month. We also have meditation for peace and serenity, taking time for you, the self-care. Meditation is such a powerful practice and if you feel called to do that this month, I would highly recommend it. Maybe this is already part of your routine, but I see you just diving into that more and I see it being a place of peace among the chaos. <laughs> And then we also have uh, meditation to dig deep. Wow, a lot of meditation cards coming up. That's so interesting. Meditation to dig deep. Ooh. If you're currently like looking for more ways to, to find how to have more abundance or to find ways to bring in more joy in your life or the treasure of what you already have, like, and, and expanding that more. I think a lot of epiphanies are gonna come to you through the practice of meditation or whenever you're feeling calm. If you're ever stuck in an issue during the month of March or you're figuring out how to overcome a challenge or need an answer to whatever you're facing, your best answers are gonna come to you during your moments of peace. During your moments of relaxation, you're gonna get your best ideas about what to do this is also a month of digging deep because Scorpio is also about the underground. So what is it that we need to maybe dig for? Maybe digging for more purpose, more meaning, maybe finding solutions where it's not really plain on the surface. It's not really like apparent on the surface. We need to dig a little bit for it. We need to go searching for it. But I really feel like your you're digging for it, you're finding of the solutions, the epiphanies, the ideas, it's really gonna come through your time of relaxation. Your time of where your mind is quiet because when your mind is overwhelmed with so much stuff, it's, 
it can get chaotic and it can be hard to find what we're looking for. Ooh, if you've recently lost something, you're gonna find it. <laughs> you're gonna get an epiphany, you're gonna find it this month, okay? So if you did, that's only a message of if you did, you're gonna find it and it's gonna, it's gonna come in an unexpected way. Okay, let's see what else do we have for you. We also have the card of spark. So this is your spark coming back to life, feeling more energetic. It's also when epiphanies happen and we're like, ooh, like I now know what to do with this. Or it's like a spark of energy where we're like, I can take action and let me go do this right now. And I do feel like you, you are kind of intuitive when it comes to your energy flow and when you feel like taking action versus when you don't. And I feel like this month, you're kind of learning how to navigate that a little bit better, but also getting a bit better with the discipline of like, getting things done when they need to get done and making room to rest and relax. It's like the balance of that is something that you are finding here. Okay, so we also have movement. I also feel like this card wants to come out too. So we also have strength. You are strong enough. It might feel like you're carrying a lot of weight, that you're doing a lot, but you are strong enough and everything's gonna work out. That foundation is being laid and things are going to work out. You also have movement, so getting ahead on everything, and then commitment, and Saturn is a card of commitment too. Some of you might be wedding planning, um, just since we have the 10 of cups, that celebration, we had the commitment kind of energy here, and then with our Saturn card, some of you might be planning for something like that, um, but commitment can also be staying committed to the promises that you're making for yourself this month, but not being too, like, make your expectations more realistic here, and then, Progress, progress is being made. You might also have somebody who's very committed in helping you along this process and you have what it takes to get it, to get through. Some of you might also be focusing on your strength a lot more. Like, let me be more strong mentally. Let me be even more strong physically. Like you may be working on some of those things in your life. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into our Astro Dice now. We're gonna take our Zodiac Sign Dice. We're gonna roll it three times to get the top three most likely Zodiac Signs to be in your life during the month of March. So let's see what we get for you. We have Pisces energy coming through. We also have Aries and Leo. So Pisces, Aries, and Leo are the top three most likely Zodiac Signs to be in your life during this next month. And let's go ahead and roll all these together to get any last information for you. So we have Jupiter in the, um, sorry, in Taurus, in the ninth house. I don't know, say fourth house, I don't know. Maybe four is a magical number for you this month, but Jupiter in Taurus in the ninth house. This is expansion, expanding what's possible for you. This is also when we're planning for the future because the ninth house definitely talks about our future or where we wanna go in the world, our future plans, how we're wanting to expand ourselves. And being with Taurus, you're definitely planning. There's some sort of commitment here, some sort of celebration, some sort of milestone. This can also be planning for expansion monetarily also within expanding your comfort zone. So there's definite expansion here, expanding prosperity because Taurus is very connected to our material world, our career and our prosperity. And this is your month of planning all the expansion around that and getting more grounded, more secure, feeling more safe. And maybe you're feeling like it's time to expand maybe your money, your finances, maybe you're feeling like you want to expand that, or Taurus can also talk about our home life. So this could be plans to expand with that. And, ooh, some of you, maybe there's long distance travel that you're wanting to do, or you're wanting to move somewhere even. This can talk about long distance travel or even moving, learning new things, and all of that. So. That is what's coming through for the month of March is expansion in so many ways. And maybe you've been really pushing yourself to get these things done faster than they need be. So, or maybe there's certain deadlines that you have and maybe we're trying to meet all of that, but everything's gonna work out. I really feel like there's a helping hand by your side this month that's coming through, like somebody who really wants to help you and who's committed to helping you, to help you move forward, to meet certain deadlines, to help lift that, 
all those responsibilities that you're carrying right now and everything I feel like is going to turn out fine. And you are also making sure to make time for fun and rest and relaxation and taking care of yourself and all those different things, which is going to be great. And I, I feel like you're planning for something exciting in your future. So this is all exciting things that are coming through. So even though it might feel overwhelming, there is something to celebrate. There is exciting things that you are working towards. So all of that extra weight that you're carrying, maybe you're carrying this extra weight. Maybe you're taking up extra, maybe you're working overtime in order to make more money, to expand more money, because maybe you have big plans in your future that you want to celebrate. Maybe you are planning for a vacation. Maybe you're planning to buy a house in the future. Maybe you're planning for, again, a wedding or some sort of other milestone or something like this. So I see that you might be like, you know, doing things to kind of make up for that and prep for that in the future because there's something really exciting going on in your future. But don't get discouraged if you don't meet some of your expectations because you know, sometimes we put way too many expectations on ourselves and it becomes impossible. So that's just the little advice that came through from spirit for your month of March, but I am sending you so much love. My group number fours, I'm so excited for you. And thank you so much for joining me here for today's video. And until next time, bye. All right, my group fives, let's go ahead and dive right into your March prediction and see what you can expect during this next month. All right, my group fives, we have full moon, opportunity for change and intuition. So, um, First off, the fact that we even have the full moon showing up and then we also have intuition, this is a very like deep month for you where you might be getting psychic dreams. You might be getting psychic feelings. Your intuition is calling very strongly. It's going to be very powerful this month for you. So the fact that we also have opportunity for change, you might be feeling intuitively deep down inside, like it's time to make a change or it's time to shift things up in some way. Um, for you. Also with the full moon, the full moons are the receiving stage of something. So we might be receiving something. There could be um, a completion happening. You could be working on something and it's getting completed this month. It's finishing. Maybe you've been uh, planning for something for quite some time and now it's time. It's like the plans are done. Let's move forward. Or it's kind of like the work is done. Let's move forward. It is the wrapping up of something. So if you yeah, if you've been working on something, if you've been planning something, it's like it's coming to fruition in March. And then we have our opportunity for change. I feel like it's you kind of like deciding, okay, what do I want to do with this? Where do I want to go with this next? Full moon is also when we're letting go of our past. It's the completion of a chapter. So there might also be something from your past that it's like, okay, well, it's time to kind of let go of that. It's time to transition out of that. It's like you've grown and now it's time for... Mm, time to change things up a little bit. And yeah, your intuition is going to be so powerful and strong. The fact that we also have the full moon, this card can also indicate that on the full moon might be a very auspicious time for you. So when we're having our full moon in March, which I haven't looked at the astrology yet, so I'm not sure what day that is, but, um, if I do, or actually there's always, I always talk about them in the beginnings of these videos. So you'll, you'll find out <laughs> in this video, you probably already know, but anyway, so the full moons is, that time of completion and you might have something special happening around the full moon in March or something special might happen around that time where you might be feeling extra intuitive. Um, listen to your dreams. If you keep a dream journal, that's amazing uh, because when you can look at your dreams in a metaphorical way, they can reveal so much and you might get a lot of um, insight into your present moment. We also have King of Cups being reversed here. He can come up reversed when we are feeling emotionally a little bit drained. Like maybe we put all of our energy towards something and it's kind of like we need to kind of rest and recuperate because we've been doing a lot and putting a lot of our focus somewhere. And now it's time to kind of reel back a little bit and regather ourselves, be a little bit more intuitive. I also feel like you're a bit more withdrawn in the month of March. You're a bit more withdrawn. Full moon intuition, king of cups being reversed. This is a time of rest and recuperation for you. You have been doing a lot. This is your month of rest and recuperation. And I feel like possibly you're taking time off. Maybe this is also going to be a time where you're not wanting to spend so much time out. You're wanting to spend a little bit more time indoors, regenerating yourself or doing things that are a bit more alone or a bit more regenerative and restorative page of wands as well coming through um, around the end of the month. I'm getting this feeling like there could be sparks of new ideas and sparks of like, Oh, what could this next chapter be for me? What is going to happen in this next time? 
We also have 10 of swords coming through. Wow. You are absolutely needing rest and relaxation. You have done a lot and you've also just completed something. The, uh, wow. You are needing rest and rejuvenation. Also, I'm kind of getting this feeling. You might also be dealing with people that you feel like you need to release and intuitively you're feeling it. You might intuitively be feeling like you're not resonating with somebody anymore or that it's time to let go of somebody. Ten of Swords can indicate that we are feeling, um, it can indicate that we're not getting along with somebody. We're having differences in opinions or somebody is even mistreating us. This could also be ourselves mistreating ourselves, like talking negatively or things like that. But for some reason, I'm kind of getting this feeling like maybe, maybe your intuition's calling you to like leave somebody behind or to separate yourself from somebody a little bit because maybe we're not getting along. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be somebody that we are seeing um, or s someone like this, like a partner or something. This could even be within our work life and we're feeling like we just need to remove ourselves from a particular situation that hasn't been healthy. If you have been having a little bit of drama going on in your life that has not felt healthy, it's time to remove yourself. Intuitively listen, like, like it's okay to be on your own. It's okay to remove yourself from the situation. Opportunity for change. There, this is the month of changing this scenario and listening to yourself and your needs, putting yourself first here to remove yourself from negativity because you don't deserve this. Like this Ten of Swords, you don't deserve this. We also have the Seven of Cups being reversed. Yeah, I feel like there has been a little bit of drama and it's time to kind of remove yourself and approach it differently. Listen to your intuition and take time before reacting is something that I'm hearing. Changing your behavior and changing your regular reactions to these scenarios is going to be really helpful. So instead of just acting as you normally would, where either you would avoid it or ignore it, or perhaps maybe you had a different way of dealing with it before where you would just allow people to walk all over you or, you know, whatever your typical reaction might be, you know, maybe it's to, to fight back or whatever, whatever your typical reaction is. Take a bit of time to pause and reflect on what would be a better approach to whatever it is that you're facing. And this is your month of rearranging and changing your behavior, changing your approach to the situation, which is going to really help you get a new outcome. The only way to a new outcome, this is exactly the message of the seven of cups being reversed. The only way to get a different outcome is to change your approach, to change how you react. That's how you get a new outcome. And I feel like um, that's going to be, oh, and then look at this. You're going to be celebrating your new way of approaching difficulty, your new way of approaching issues. You're going to have a celebration. You also have friends around you that are supporting you that really want to help you figure this out, that want to help be by your side to see you win, to see you succeed, to get you the best possible outcome. You have friends next to you that really want to see you thrive. And so um, leaning on the people that you know you can trust and the people that you know are going to give you wise advice is probably going to be the best thing in the month of March. Okay. But I do also see you celebrating. I see the three of cups as the celebration and this relief of like, Oh, I no longer have to deal with that anymore. That's no longer bothering me. It's no longer an issue. And I see you celebrating and it's almost like this feeling of, yes, I know. Like it's truly no longer a part of you and no longer bothering you in any way, shape or form by the end of the month. And, um, I'm feeling like the number three is going to be very significant for you in March and March also is the third month, but, um, I do feel like the number three is very significant. So I'm hearing that the dates of, um, March 3rd, March 12th and 13th, also the 21st, the 23rd and the 30th, the 30th is really sticking out to me as an auspicious day for you. Ooh, I got goosebumps right when I said that. Ooh. <laughs> um, and also look, it's kind of like a full moon on this card and the full moon here. I think by the full moon, you'll have shed and let go of this situation. There's a negative situation that you are shedding and letting go of on the full moon. So whatever day the full moon is, um, I'm actually going to look at what day the full moon is really quick. Cause I want to let you know. 
Okay, so the full moon is happening on March 25th, like pretty much right at midnight. So for some people, depending on where you live, um, it'll either happen super late in the evening on the 24th or earlier in the morning on the 25th of the month. So that's gonna be a very special time for you of celebration and release and feeling, um, feeling supportive. Also the number three, there's three hands. There's people, your friends are wanting to help you out. <laughs> they wanna help you out with this situation. They wanna see you succeed and they're gonna be an incredible support system. And I do, wow, I see you being really happy on the full moon and celebrating I got goosebumps even saying that. Wow, I have some goosebumps everywhere in my body while I'm saying that. Okay, we also have the nine of swords coming through. Wow, whatever used to be bothering you will no longer be having its, its toll on you or taking its toll on you anymore. So anything that was giving you anxiety, worries. Also, this is the month of dealing with those anxieties, facing those anxieties so that you no longer have to worry about them. That's what nine of swords is all about. If you have been getting bad sleep lately as well, or if you've been having bad dreams, or if you have been staying up really late because of different worries or anything else like that, other sleep issues, that is also going to be healing and going away this month. And I feel like it's directly tied to dealing with this scenario, facing it, and and really like, you know, changing your typical reactions to these things. And that's gonna shift the outcome for you. And I just see this being cleared very beautifully. I see this card even as a celebration card coming through and this new type of energy. So whatever this, whatever this scenario is, there's a forgiveness and a new energy being born from whatever this negative scenario was. Being able to move past that. And there's this kind of like youthful energy of just like, okay, new beginning now stepping into a new beginning and it's a very exciting energy. So, whoo, amazing. Let's go ahead and dive into our next few cards for you. So group number five, it's also interesting that you have the rose quartz. This is self-love. This is also healthy love. Um, and yeah, spirit is also calling me to talk more about, there's gonna be special gifts like celebrations and gifts, like almost see like a surprise near the end of the month. That's going to be very like happy and celebratory. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. My group fives, your month of March. Let's see what else we have. Okay. We also have the cosmic enchantress, uh, wishcraft. I attract a steady flow of abundance. What are you wishing for right now? Wishcraft indicates that something that you've been hoping for or wanting, that outcome is manifesting in March. And I attract a steady flow of abundance. You are attracting more positivity. You are attracting more um, materially. So within your money or other things like that, you're attracting more of a steady flow. So there's a more, se a deeper sense of security, especially like, oh my God, these cards over here, it's almost like our sense of security. It's like we didn't feel like we had a strong sense of uh, security and steadiness. But now by the end of March, you do. You're like, oh, I feel steady. And I feel like, oh, things are balanced. They are um, more sure. I feel more sure of myself, my future and all of that. It's just going to feel very cleared. It's clearing all of this type of energy that has come through. So anyway, we also have Empress of the Night, the finale. Wow. And then Ten of Swords is also the finale. So we have two finale cards. After this, look at this card, what it says. After the storm, I emerge a shiny new star. Wow. There's a total new beginning happening for you after dealing with this. And also, yes, the completion of something, something that you've been working on or something that maybe like you just had to get through, you had to finish it. Whatever it is that you had to finish, you are finishing it. And then the finale, after the storm, I emerge a shiny new star. <laughs> this is your shiny new beginning by the end of the month. It's amazing. And then wishcraft, it's like you're putting out your wishes and you are able to receive those things. Blue is a color coming through a lot here. Blue and red. Red is having that 
that security, that foundation, that steadiness, and that confidence in yourself. And then the blue coming through is activating your third eye, so your intuition, and also your throat chakra, so being able to communicate, being able to um, listen as well, being able to listen and communicate and tap into your intuition, to be able to trust, trust, the word trust is coming through, and confidence, confidence and trust are big things coming through. Let's see what else we get for you here. My group fives, we also have speak your mind. I feel like there's a, it, this is time to have important conversations, especially if you've been avoiding certain conversations or if you have something to say, but you've been repressing it. This is the month we have to let it out. We have to like, yeah. Um, we also have prayers and wishes. We have another wish card coming through. There's something that you've been wishing for. And if, ooh, if you don't know what that is yet, this is time to make your wish. That's what I just heard from spirit. Make your wish. What do you want to happen? What do you want the outcome to be? Because you're going to be celebrating that at the end of the month. You are going to be celebrating that. You're going to be celebrating a milestone. You're going to be celebrating some sort of win, some sort of gift, some sort of like exciting event that's going to be happening. Let's see what else we get for you. My group fives, what else do we have for your month of March? Okay, we also have into the unknown. And the number seven is on it, which is trusting your intuition, especially things that you feel unsure about, things that you're like, I don't know all the answers to that. I don't know what that's gonna turn out like. Sometimes we just have to use our intuition, we have to trust it. So into this new beginning, into the unknown, Sometimes you have to have blind faith. The word blind faith is coming through here. Blind faith in yourself, blind faith in your future, in your wish, because you're making a wish here. We have to have blind faith in it. We have to trust that it is happening. We have to trust that it is coming. We also <laughs> the amount, okay. My love, we literally cannot make this up. Look at the amount of wish cards that are coming out for you. We also have the card wishing well. If you have not made your wish yet, make your wish. Spirit is literally saying right now, multiple times in this reading, it is time for you to make a wish. What do you want to happen? What would be a wish come true for you? Think about that. Even pause this video if you need to, to think about that and declare what is your wish? What is it that you're wanting to happen this month? Because this is your time to receive it. And this is your time to also have blind faith. The word blind faith keeps coming up when I'm looking at this card. Blind faith in yourself and in your dreams, in your wishes. And by the end of the month, I see you celebrating something and you're like, you're like, oh my gosh, if only I knew it was on the other side of this. This is great. This is amazing. And I feel like you're going to be very proud of yourself. I'm getting the sense of being very proud of yourself. Oh, I got goosebumps when I said that. Anytime I get goosebumps, it means confirmation from spirit. You're going to be very proud of yourself at the end of this, this month for the changes that you're making, the changes that you, like maybe you've had certain patterns or cycles, or maybe you've always dealt with things in a certain way that didn't turn out in your favor before. But this time it's like, no, we're really changing our ways of how we handle things. And by doing so, like you're stepping into your confidence, the finale. So after the storm, I emerge a shiny new star. There's a new birth for you. There's a new beginning. It's like into the unknown. Have your blind faith. Prayers and wishes. Make your wish. Make your wish. And wishcraft. I attract a steady flow of abundance. Abundance is on your side. There's positivity happening. I feel like there's magic surrounded you by, <laughs> by you right now, group five. There's magic all surrounding you. Spirit wants to make your wish happen, but it's going to come through changing your reactions to things and handling this situation, facing this situation, speaking your mind from a place of confidence, from a place of surety, making that wish. Oh my gosh. Oh my, I'm getting so many goosebumps. I love it. Okay. Let's get one more card from this uh, deck and then we're going to go into our um, Astro Dice. We have Ride the Wave going with the flow. And I also feel like you have people by your side and all of the things that happen, this is going to help propel you. Ride the Wave this wave that you're going through, this hurdle that you're going through is actually propelling you so much further forward. And it's whenever we ride the wave, we move faster as well. So whatever it is that you're going through right now, it's going to help you push forward and make more progress in your life. It's actually going to help push you forward to make more progress. Okay. So 
Diving into our astro dice, we're going to take our zodiac sign dice. We're going to roll it three times to get the top three most likely zodiac signs to be in your life. Let's go ahead and see who those people are. We have Gemini coming up, Gemini energy. We also, pff, Gemini twice, lots of Gemini energy for you. <laughs> we all, Gemini again. Okay, we get it. Gemini. Gemini is going to be strong for my group fives. Aries as well. Gemini, Aries. Gemini again. <laughs> Apparently Gemini is the only one you need to focus on in, in March. Let's try to get one more zodiac sign for you. Okay, we got Scorpio. So Gemini, Aries, and Scorpio. It seems like Gemini is definitely the most prominent one of those, by the way. So let's go ahead and see any last information that we get for you here. Okay, we have Uranus in Leo in the second house. This is shifts when it comes to your material world. So this can be shifts within finances, abundance, shifts within what you own. So this could be looking at what you own and um, Uranus can say like, I just wanna get rid of everything right now or I wanna do a big clean out and clear out. Or Uranus can say like, I wanna go thrifting. Like Uranus is very like thrifting when it's in the second house, buying stuff that's like at better deals, better prices and being like, oh my God, I just got the best deal on this thing and uh, stuff like that. And Leo is like, I wanna show it off. I wanna show off these new changes. I wanna show off how much I got rid of and how minimal I am right now. Or I wanna show off the kind of really cool things that I just found um, and I got them for such a great deal. You know, Uranus being in the second house is very much that type of energy, but it is a lot of like unexpected change. There could also be a lot of unexpected change when it comes to your, um, your material world, the belongings that you have. Like you just might feel like making radical change in that area of your life this month for whatever reason. Um, and that's gonna be really positive for you. It's gonna create a lot of positive change. And Leo is a very much like shining, radiant, like very excited to show it off type of energy. Um, and it's also doing things from the place of your heart. Like your heart is really like beaming to be like, oh, I feel so much better in this type of environment or I feel so much better with this or I feel so much better that I did that or made that decision. This can also be, radically deciding to like um, invest your money more doing something that's going to make you feel more abundant that's going to make you shine this could also be an unexpected gift as well that that's actually coming through so a steady flow of abundance um uranus can bring unexpected gifts so there might be an unexpected bonus that you get monetarily as well <laughs> in march so that's also coming through. And that is what we have here for you, my group number fives for your month of March. Lots of like unexpected good things. You are absolutely receiving a surprise or a gift or like an unexpected like woo. Like maybe you're gonna get your tax return and realize like, oh my God, I get like more money back than I realized or something like this because Uranus um, with that second house energy, there's like a surprise for you monetarily. And we definitely had a lot of gift card cards coming through. So that's very positive right there as well. So that's what we have for your month of March, your prediction. Also interesting that our candle went out over here. Um, whenever that's on the right side, so it's on the right side, which is our masculine action taking side. This is telling you take a break. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to take a breather. It's okay to take your time with certain things. So um, if you feel rushed to make certain decisions, you don't have to, you can take your time, but at the same time, Eventually we do have to make a decision and all that, but this is time to enhance your feminine energy this month since we have our left side still burning, still flaming. It's time to be creative. Think about new creative things and also to trust your intuition, to follow your intuition, to nurture yourself this month. So that is what we have going on for you. Again, thank you so much for joining me here today for this video. I'm sending you so much love for you and your month ahead. And until next time, bye.